Hello everybody and welcome back to RuneScape. So I figured out how to change your death event. It's actually down here below the walk here. I didn't even see it because I'm not used to that. It doesn't make any sense. But if you do that, then you get a little pop-up where you can choose your death method death message. I haven't done anything since the last episode, none of the events or anything. Something weird is going on here. I'm not sure what this candy corn's about or what this crap is here. Uh looks like we're we're doing something here. We'll, we'll find out sometime. Whoa, those are very shiny. Oh look, I got more candy corn, and I just banked it on accident. And more candy corn, and a prismatic lamp that I'll toss into uh, agility because I don't care. Let's just look at what this is. All right, so they got a whole bunch of crap. Pumpkin launcher. Uh, it doesn't look that exciting, honestly, but. At least the prices seem somewhat reasonable, although I'm guessing the event lasts like five days, in which case you'll get maybe a few prizes unless you really try hard, but it's at least uh, not too insane as some of the events have been. I had never not heard of this. I, I've been busy today, and I guess it must have came out today or something. Who knows? Who knows? It's only the 29th for them, so it's not like it's Halloween day or something. Uh, let's get over to the bank, though, and see how many of these candy corns I stashed in there over the past minute. And hopefully it's enough to get one of the rewards. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention that much. I just know we got uh, 230. It's not enough, I don't think. We can get rid of these tools, but it's practically worthless. You get like 10 XP per tool or something in any of the skills from the event. But we might as well get rid of them, so I'll... Head on over here, and I guess you just talk to Darla. And we don't want the letter back. Nope. And yes, we want to get rid of that. But what skill? Out of all these skills, what skill? And I think farming is probably the best choice, honestly. It's the one I'm least likely to train, right? So there's 2k XP in farming. Hooray! Okay, so that's all the event stuff we need to take care of. I'm kind of winding down this event. I don't think we need to do it that much. I'll probably do it at least a little bit. Hopefully, I'll, I should have the time to do it before the next episode. And hopefully we can get... Well, I mean, we should definitely get a Herbler level. And who knows what else. It gives us so much XP and so many skills. But I think today we have some mini games to do, probably. Yeah, Troll Invasion resets in two days. I think we've done the God Statues, haven't we? Yeah, we've done the God Statues, but Troll Invasion resets. I haven't I haven't been doing Tears of Guthics, which I should, but I do get lazy on that from time to time. Especially with XP being so easy to earn in RuneScape 3. Sometimes it just doesn't feel that important. But we'll try to do it today. This will be one of those days where I focus mostly on keeping up with the day-to-day -day stuff of the game. Now, I don't have a weapon with me right now. That was an issue last episode, so I will quickly grab my magic short bow. I guess we'll use ranged. It's a waste of arrows, but I do have over 1k of them. So in the long run, it's probably not a big deal if I waste a few. Let's get on up here and start fighting. Should be easy. Yes, this attempt will be rewarded. I'm not even going to bring food. Okay, yes, I want it to be faster. I really wish we could shorten this conversation. Hard. There we go. In we go. Time for some fun. Murdering some trolls. I like that I started fighting him before he even jumped down. That's real nice. Now let me, while I do this, since you don't really need to pay attention, I'm going to go load up RuneScape's website, see the news about this candy corn, because uh, this is the first time I'm hearing about it. It didn't exist yesterday, so it's existed for nearly three hours. And that is it. It's called Treasure Hunter, the Haunted Graveyard. Okay, you can find it through skilling, killing, or daily challenges. It can be traded in regular trades or on the Grand Exchange, so it's one of those things. Ugh. And let's see. Ooh, Iron Man can actually get these, except for the masks. I don't know if that means the masks are special. Oh, are the masks tradable? Is that it? 
I bet that's it. I bet those masks are tradable. Would not surprise me. Oh god, these idiots. I need to kill these idiots before they get up there. I need to pay attention. Because these jerks. Oh, that one's already up there, but I don't think he's up there far enough for it to matter. Oh, you jerk. Hate him so much. I despise him. I really need a bone crusher. I should really seriously do uh, dungeoneering. Maybe next week. Because if I could get my dungeoneering high enough to where we had a bone crusher, I would be so happy. I mean, even the XP is minimal, obviously, but just having the bones not be on the ground, that alone justifies it to me. Because they get on my nerves. Uh, anyway. And that's pretty much all there is to say about the event. You already saw the rewards when I opened the interface, and it's pretty much like all the other events, I assume. So maybe we'll get some of those rewards, maybe not. The event probably lasts, like I said, we saw the number of hours left, which I assume would be the amount left until it ends. It's usually how it works. Okay, we're going to beat the crap out of this troll father here. Sorry. Is just as well. He had to go eventually. Might as well go soon. Oh god, no. Not not this. What a freaking jerk. Seriously, that guy is a jerk. I hate him. Alright, well, we kill this guy. This guy is actually not being a jerk for once. But we'll get rid of him anyway, just in case he changes his mind. Decides to screw us over. Oh, look at that. We're really close to a defense level. Oh, we're gonna get a defense level. Awesome. I'm always happy to gain levels in any skill, but definitely combat. I need combat for sure, so. Bring it on, come on. Oh, it's so close, it's taunting me. It's terrible, oh gosh. Who's doing that, who's doing that, where is he? Where is he? I don't even see him. I'm just running over here apparently. Where is the mage? There he is, he's hiding. Okay, mage, you are going down. We're just gonna kill all these guys randomly, I guess. What is this? Oh, all adjacent? That is, for once, the thing I actually wanna do. Where did I just shoot it? Over there, I switched targets. Oh my gosh. I actually use it for once, and he targets the one person who's not next to anyone. Uh, well, there's defense 52. We're safer now. We are not going to have to worry about dying. Not that I was worried at all before, given my whole browsing the internet while in combat. Typically not a sign of concern, just saying. Although admittedly I've done that during dangerous things as well, and died as a result, so yeah. What are we going here? Oh man. Yeah, this one guy in the forums is saying it would take 15 to 20 hours to get all the rewards from the Halloween event. The non-Candy Corn rewards, that is. I think that's about what I guessed, isn't it? Based on my quick and dirty math that I did last episode? I don't know. It doesn't matter, the point is it's just silly, and I don't know if I'll bother doing it or not. I'll probably not, because there's just too much. I used to care so much about rewards, I've said this before. I used to be a collector. I would try to get everything. I'd try to keep items you're not supposed to keep. You know, like uh, that one sword, the Blurite sword, and stuff like that. And I filled my bank. It was a huge issue for my bank space. But I just tried to have everything. And for a long time, I did. I, I had everything, I think, that came out that, except for some glitch items, of course, but I had pretty much everything that came out after I created my account except until when they did the very first, um, I believe it was the first uh, card thing, whenever they started doing, I just realized I lost that. Oh well, who cares? Oh my gosh. Okay, that hurt a lot. I'm almost dead, okay. Maybe we should kill this guy, because he's my biggest danger, honestly. So, get rid of the wizard. Now we don't have to worry about him. Now let's try to get rid of this jerk, because he's also a concern. Oh, please don't kill me. I don't want to die on the final round. 
Main thing is to avoid the throwing rocks because they're a concern. Okay, I think we're safe now. For the most part, I'm at 105. Prayer! Duh! Let's just pray it up. I don't even need that prayer. I just wanted the defense. Okay, I feel safer now. And for some reason, my health went way up. I guess I used this thing. But yeah, that was close. That was real close. A lot closer than it should have been. Oh my god. You freaking jerk. Okay, well, we can deal with this. We can deal with it. Just don't want to, really. I seriously don't know why they had to add this as a thing that happens. It is seriously ridiculous. He is in the worst possible point where I don't even feel safe running that far. I hate him. But yeah, like I was saying, it was, I think, it was either RuneFest or the first time they did uh, the cards you buy in the store, they'd give you special items for using a card from a certain store at a certain time. And I didn't want to do that because I was getting $5 a month membership and the cards are more than that. And that, yeah, I think I still qualify for the $5 a month, but I've been getting the membership package. Oh, well, let's just go for it. If I die, I die, but I didn't die. Now let's get out of here before I actually die. Ooh, okay. We did it. We got the XP reward book. I have to decide what skill to put it in now. Great. Um skill to put it in would be let's check this out what am i hearing i don't know what i'm hearing i i recognize that noise i just can't remember what it is right now um but what skill do i want free xp in that is a big question i've gotten so much free xp lately uh hunter hunter is what we'll do this this week Oh my gosh, all that Hunter XP, it's so amazing. Two Hunter levels. Wow, it feels like Darkscape gaining multiple levels at once. Look at that, we can catch Spirit Implings now, and we can wear Gloves of Silence, and we can box trap Chinchampas. This is actually some significant levels right there. I'm, I'm glad I did that. All right, so next up though, Tears of Guthix was the thing I was going to do, and that is what we will go do. Let's go do Tears of Guthix. Invasion of Thaldor ends in four days, apparently, so that's a thing. I should probably try to take care of that, because I want that free Herglor XP. And all those XP lamps, oh my gosh. So much XP, it's ridiculous. If I was tossing those into the right skills, we would be set forever. And I don't know that I am, but hey. Look at my skills, though. Look at them. We are so close to all 50 plus. It's well, like strength and slayer and summoning and mining. And those are no issue. Oh, and constitution, apparently. Whatever. Uh, I need a lamp, don't I? Dang it. We'll get a lamp real quick from the bank upstairs. And then we will go on. I'm so used to having a bank down there. Because I'm not used to needing to remember until I actually get there, but I do have to remember. Okay, clean quorum. How is that my only quorum? It's ridiculous. I should sell these feathers, because I think they'll sell for a decent price. Um, A light source. Am I gonna have to search for it, or is it going to present itself to my eyes? You would think it would be up front from the last time that I did this. There it is, it's way down there for some reason. Oh, I think I had my bullseye lantern somewhere in there. Oh look, the champions of the Kintra and the White Knights. Hooray! Alright, I look forward to the end of the Faldor event so we can see what Faldor looks like without all that crap in it. What I'm thinking is, they actually didn't put that many details in Faldor. Like, like the castle isn't full of stuff and things like that. And I think that's because the event is so full of resources that they couldn't have both. Or they were just lazy, because I think I heard from someone, I don't know if it was real or not, but that they'd actually worked on the Faldor update a long time ago, and just sort of paused it, and this was just finally their excuse to release it, in which case, they might not have been fully complete on it. And either way, it would have been outdated graphics, 
Which could be why it's maybe not quite as impressive looking as some of the other recent things. I don't know. Seriously, I did not just gain the hunter level game. Seriously. Get your head in the game, game. Stupidest thing I've said today. All right, Juna, I'm coming over and you are going to allow me to have this blue liquid. That makes me happy. Okay, talking about Dragon Slayer there. Good stuff. All right, let's hope for some luck. Let's hope that this one just stays sitting here for an hour and for some reason the game decides not to pull me out of here. Which is unlikely to happen, but you know, we could discover a new glitch that somehow gives us level 99 in my lowest skill. And then Jagex would take it away and probably ban me. Or tell me not to show this video. Who knows what would happen. I don't think... You don't get blamed if it's not on purpose, but... Yeah. Being realistic isn't as fun, right? You gotta be... An extremist about your ideas or something. That is a terrible thing to say. Whatever, let's just gather some tears. It's normal. Rocks cry all the time. It's a, it's a thing that occurs. Glowing tears out of rocks. Constantly. With giant snakes. Juna is a lot bigger than she used to be. Oh god, I'm, I'm getting messed up over here. Why can't I see? Where is my thing saying how much I have? I lost it, apparently. I think it's there. I think it's right here. Yeah. Kind of annoying, just a bit. If you're going to replace it, just replace them all. I did terrible, I was too busy talking and not clicking, but it's free XP, I'm not going to stress over it. We get XP and summoning, yay! Summoning 48. Oh hey, it's even a quest requirement. That is unexpected and nice. All right, well that's basically what I had planned for today. I don't think there's anything else. Uh, I guess maybe we need to go get Meg. I think I missed another week on that. Maybe two, who knows, who cares. But we'll go check out the ports because why not? And if we get XP there, hopefully we'll be in a skill we actually need XP in and not in woodcutting or something. Fire making, you know, one of the skills that, you know, XP is okay and all, but not really working on any quests or anything that use that right now. Okay, enter the port portal. Ah, oh, Meg is back, so... Okay, we got a good one. Please be a good skill, please be a good skill. I keep getting Dungeoneering ones in Darkscape, which is really annoying because it gives zero XP. But hey, Slayer is definitely a good one. Okay, so how close are we? Ooh, if we got another one, we'd be a level 50. Very nice, let's help. A witch with a terrible and dark power, oh no. Any advice? Um... I honestly don't know which one of these, but I would I would imagine that would be a logical one. No, I'm sure. You never know. What? Why is she sneaking around? Whatever, this is obvious. Yeah, a bow and a oh. grappling. Uh, use a crossbow. Okay, wish me luck. All right, so that's taken care of. That's one more thing. Trying to think if there's anything else, monthly or weekly, that I actually feel like bothering with. I could do the circus, but I'm kind of out of a circus mood. I've been doing it in Darkscape a lot lately. And uh, we aren't... Well, we could get a range level from it, couldn't we? Possibly. It'd be very close, so I'm not... I'll do it. Because we're close to an agility level. If it'll get me an agility level, I'll do it, okay? That's enough. Even if I have to then get rid of this stupid hint arrow, because it doesn't go away on its own sometimes. But we got the time. We got the need. Let's take care of this. This is actually where it is in Darkscape this week as well, so I guess their locations are synchronized. Whatever math they used is probably based on the current timestamp or something, rather than truly random. Which is good, because it makes it a little easier. What am I doing? I'm going to the arrow, I'm like, oh yeah, it's definitely going to be over there. No, I'm not already inside of it. Okay, well, right, I should do this one first. Duh. Okay, let's cast some magic, own some books, that is a good thing. 
This book is not a book. This book is also not a book, but we're owning it anyway. Okay, a shield. We can take care of that. Good stuff. I'm in a pretty good mood today because I'm finally catching up on my videos. Actually recording this ahead of schedule for once. And it's going to be like that from now on. The whole late videos thing is done. And I'm also getting to play Halo 5 tomorrow. I already played 40 minutes of it. I'm going to hopefully beat the whole game tomorrow. I've been looking forward to that. Cautiously optimistic is how I described it, I think. But I think the storyline might might not be great. But I think the gameplay is probably going to be pretty good. Although, admittedly, you don't get quite the same feeling whenever you're doing a commentary as whenever you play through a game yourself. So that's why one of the reasons, one of many reasons why I'm playing through on Heroic. That way I can then later do either a normal or a legendary or both to get a better feel for the game. I'm just getting these key tokens everywhere. I need to make sure I use them. Get some candy horn. Let's go get that agility level though. Wait, what am I doing? I need to get this, the possible very close to a ranged level level. We'll use throwing knives as per usual. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, YouTube's basically forcing me to pre-record my videos now because I uploaded that Halo 5 video, my first episode, and then I processed it using YouTube because I'm trying out a new rec recording technique that requires that. And what happened was it sat there processing for, I don't even know, it felt like about 12 hours which for a 20 minute video, which is only like at most a few gigabytes, that is not reasonable because I can upload that in maybe an hour or two, two hours about, and then it usually takes less time to process than it does to upload. So having it take that long is not reasonable. It seems to me, we got so close to a level. It seems to me YouTube prioritizes certain things differently. Like if you're uploading a video, it'll prioritize that process a whole lot more than if you're using their editor. I don't know why, because actually splitting the ends off of a video is a very simple thing if you store your videos properly. And I'm pretty sure they do, because for streaming, that's how you would want to store them is where you can split the ends off. Oh, come on. I guess there's other ways they could do it, but it's the logical thing. Will you let me do this? Oh, whatever. Fine, I'll check on it later. Uh, we did the second one. But yeah, so you would think it would actually be real easy. I mean, my computer could do that edit probably in seconds. And perhaps I should have because I overestimated YouTube's intelligence. Apparently, if it takes longer to cut off the end of a video than it does to upload and process a much longer video. I don't know what they're doing wrong, but it's not right. Ah, uh, but whatever. There's a lot of other problems YouTube has, it's just one of many. Anyway, let's get done with this so we can check what we unlocked. 5k XP, not bad for agility. I do love the free agility XP. Good to get that stuff. Let's get out of here though. We'll try to gain a range level, I think. I don't know what my current Slayer task is. I can't remember. Uh, gotta click on this, though. It was not a range level I gained. I don't know why I clicked on that. Uh, I guess we didn't unlock anything or it glitched and didn't tell us what we unlocked. Let's see, 57. No, nothing. 57 is a dead level. One of few, but it is a dead level. All right, still, though, a level gained. We're getting closer and closer to 1,500. Should get that this year. That'll be a nice little thing to have. Let's get up to the bank, though. Uh, let's also take care of this while I actually remember it. These look so weird. More candy corn. We're 10 away now. Great. Oh, ooh, we need to get over there, I think. We'll stay on the bank with the others. That's going to be some serious cash. Those things are so ridiculously expensive. It's not even logical. I don't know what the XP rate is for those, but I really 
I don't know. I guess I don't really have the proper feel for money in this game, I guess. Because I've always been poor. I'm not one of the... Like, the amount I've played, I should be a billionaire. People become billionaires with a lot less effort than I've put into this game. But that's because they're doing the right things. They're doing the bossing, the merching. They got the friends with the connections. and I don't know. I've never been lucky. I've had rich friends. I have friends... I think I have a friend who has a couple party hats, actually. But at least he said he did. And I have no reason not to believe him, even though I've never seen them. But I've never received any items from any of my friends of any real value. And I've never merched anything that would earn billions of coins. I've never bossed outside of a little bit of Bandos I did years ago, back before EOC. And that was group bossing as well, so profits were minimal. And yeah, I'm just not good at earning money, sadly. That is just a fact of life. Probably a fact of real life as well, considering I would love to turn YouTube into a career if I ever could. And that is a good way to live okay, possibly, if you get popular enough. But you're not going to get rich. I mean, not through advertisements or YouTube Red at least. Maybe if you do sponsorship deals and stuff you can live a bit more comfortably. But YouTube is not my only plans for my future. It's just something I think would be cool and it's a good hobby either way even if I never make any real money from it. Should I sell this junk? I mean we just got 700k. What else was it? I had another item didn't I? No I didn't. I could sell these wells though. Dragon bones, curry saplings, I got so much junk. I need to get rid of this clue scroll, honestly. Why haven't I? What was it? Oh, right. Yeah, I could work on that real quick, but we're running out of time, so I'm not sure there's a point, really. But I'll at least try to figure out where it goes. Let's see, let me load up. It always takes me a while to get over the page. It's probably why I never bothered around the first time. Let's see. This is a coordinate clue. And if you type that in, you will eventually find where you're supposed to go. Right. Well, this is not really the page I wanted to go to. Oh, if only you could see the terrible things I am failing to do. Just find a page. There we go. I found the page. Right. So we are looking for 126 North. Gotcha. 126 North. It is the only 126, so we need to go to Primhaven. Oh, the Moss Giant Island. That's actually really easy to get to. Uh, do I have... Do you get all the supplies on your thing, or do you still need to have... I think you can put all your supplies on your tool belt now, can't you? Let's make sure. We got a watch, we got a chart, we got a sextant. So yes, I don't have tongs. I don't know... I mean, I know where to get tongs. Ooh, a Caridian cat. I want one. Let me look at that. Oh, he's got a weird face thing. Oh, he looks like the, I think it was Ka? I don't know. Let's go over to Brimhaven real quick. We got the time, and I'll make the time. I'm going to get this clue done so that next time I feel like finishing this clue, we don't have to deal with it. I'm looking up again. I forgot to do this. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Whoops, I activated it. I don't think I did, though. I clicked it. It didn't activate, but I clicked it. Okay, get on up here, though. All right, I was going to gain a range level as well. That that can still happen. This We're going to Moss Giant Island. That's a good place to kill a few things. Where is Moss Giant Island? It's been a while since I've been there. It is not a normal place for me to go. But it is around here somewhere. I am heading north. Not doing something stupid. There we go, Moss Giant Island. And somewhere on this island, uh, somewhere maybe around here-ish, where I'm not sure, I'm not certain, as I usually mispronounce. I found a scroll box, yay! A softened, so what, soften him? Or, I don't know, is softened a name or a place? I'll figure it out, don't worry. Let's kill this guy real quick, though. And we don't have enough time to do anything else, but we will kill this guy. Video games are weird. You can just be sitting around and be like, you know what? I'm going to kill this giant 
monster that's standing right next to me. And apparently he's decided to kill me, so... It's all fair. It's all good. Not sure what that's about. Why this jerk has decided that he doesn't like... He doesn't like me. And this is gonna take a while, actually. It's real spear, huh? Because we're not getting that much XP per kill. Well, a few more. We'll do it. We'll do it. I... I can go over a little. And maybe I can use this time to figure out what this softened thing is. So let's see, softened. It is here somewhere. It is in Sophonim, near the Pyramid Plunder Pyramid. Okay. So, some boxes near a bridge. If I can remember that, which I won't, but if I could, it would save me some time in the future. Perhaps next episode, I don't know. I don't know. What we got here? We got some death runes, some adamant arrows. We got some things. We got things all over the things. Goodbye. Oh, look at that. That was another thing that I was working on that I'd forgotten about already. Got some oak planks. That's something that's worth keeping, I guess. One or two more kills, I think. I don't know. You can just die, right? Oh. I got an adamant arrow and some big bones over here I didn't even know about. The graphics just went crazy for a second. I don't know what that was about. I'm surprised these guys are aggressive, actually. It's almost like they got aggressive because I killed one of their friends. Wow, that thing looks really fancy, but it's just a... Uh... Whoa, the graphics are going crazy. Let's get out of here, though. So yeah, this has been Kebab799. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Like this video if you liked it. Comment you anything to say, and I'll see you in the next episode.